Good evening and welcome to this time of prayer and reflection at the end of the day. It's Monday the 11th of December. My name is Vicky. For anybody who doesn't know me, I'm part of the team at St Thomas's Blackpool. I'm going to be using a very simple short form of night prayer tonight because I'm going to um, really reflect on the collect or the special prayer for this week. Um, yesterday was the second Sunday in Advent. And so I'm going to take the prayer that was used um, for yesterday and for the whole of this week and also reflect uh, on the readings that are set for tonight uh, in the lectionary of, of the Church of England. So please bear with me and as I go through uh, the Old Testament reading uh, and uh, the New Testament reading as well and collect the, all of it together in the theme uh, of this week. So if I start with uh, the collect itself and uh, if you can just relax and focus on God and his presence with you right now where you are and we're just going to Listen to his word. It will lead us through confession and into prayer. So, the collect for the second Sunday of Advent and for this week. Almighty God, purify our hearts and minds that when your Son, Jesus Christ, comes again as Judge and Saviour, we may be ready to receive him, who is our Lord and our God. Amen. So that prayer leads us to reflect on the need for us to be pure in spirit and to also look for Jesus coming again. And when he comes, he will judge all things. So Lord, as we come to you tonight, we ask you, to purify our hearts and our minds. Come Holy Spirit, be with each one of us now. Help us to release to you all those things that we've done today. Things perhaps where we have not glorified God in anything that we have said or done. Or perhaps it's something that we have left undone, which we should have done. Lord, forgive us. Purify us. Make us clean, that we may reflect Jesus to the world, to all those around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer and we thank God that he's more ready to forgive us uh, than we are to repent but he cares for us he cares so deeply that he sent his son Jesus to bring him, us back to himself and as we look for Jesus to come again in glory we remember that he is both saviour and judge of the whole world. I'm going to read from the psalm set for tonight, Psalm 144, verses 3 to 6. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them? Mere mortals that you think of them. They are like a breath. Their days are like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. So we keep remembering that there is no one like our God. And that God in Jesus is the only one who can save us from our sins. And that... He is the one who will, at the end of time, judge all things. I'm going to read from Isaiah 45, 
and I'm going to intersperse this with some prayer. So Isaiah 45, beginning at verse 14. For this is what the Lord says, He who created the heavens, He is God. He who fashioned and made the earth, He founded it. He did not create it to be empty, but formed it to be inhabited. He says, I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken in secret from somewhere in the land of darkness. I have not said to Jacob's descendants, seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Gather together and come. Assemble, you fugitives from the nations. And although that word is spoken to the Israelites to gather God's people together, we also know that God's word is for all people from every race and tribe and language and tongue. And so let us pray. Let's pray for all those in our world that have been driven from their homes and all that they hold dear by war and violence. We pray for countries that are devastated right now through violent action. We pray for Gaza and for Israel, for Ukraine. Pray for the refugees and asylum seekers. Lord, all those who this night do not have safety or security, all those who do not have a roof over their heads, all those who are struggling with famine and disease. Lord, in your mercy, look upon these people. I know, Lord, that you cry out for the lost and the lonely and those that have been abandoned. And we pray, Lord, that you will give all those who are working day after day to relieve suffering in the world. You give them strength and you give them everything that they need. Lord, may the resources, the aid get through to the people that need it. And we ask you, Lord, to convict all those in positions of power and leadership to govern with integrity and compassion, that they may work for the good of all people in their care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Isaiah continues at verse 20. Ignorant are those who carry about idols of wood, who pray to gods that cannot save. Declare what is to be, present it, let them take counsel together. Who foretold this long ago? Who declared it from the distant past? Was not it, was it not I, the Lord, and there is no God apart from me, a righteous God and Saviour? There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn, my mouth has uttered in all integrity a word that will not be revoked. Before me every knee will bow, by me every tongue will swear. So Lord, we pray for the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ and for all Christians who are being persecuted for their faith. Lord, we pray for your strength to uphold them. May they know your presence with them right now. Lord, may they know you very close to them. And we pray, Lord, that through their suffering, there may be an immense growth of the kingdom of God. 
Lord, we pray for all those uh, that we know. We pray uh, for our, within our own church for Steve and Lisa Haskett and for the work that is going on in India right now, where the gospel is being told, where there is great witness to the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for a great outpouring of your spirit on all those who declare the truth of Jesus. Isaiah goes on in verse 24, they will say of me in the Lord alone our deliverance and strength. All who have raged against him will come to him and be put to shame. But all the descendants of Israel will find deliverance in the Lord and will make their boast in him. May we indeed boast in only Jesus Christ. And we are called by God to keep the faith, to declare the gospel of Jesus, to show God's love in action and hold fast, looking for Christ to come again, to come to judge both the living and the dead. And so we're going to listen now to the words written to the believers in Thessalonica. It is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, beginning at verse 1. Paul, Silas and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. We always thank God for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. We remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labour prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit and deep conviction. And Paul goes on to write that the Thessalonians turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who rescues us from the coming wrath. So let's pray. Let's pray for our own country, for our region of Lancashire and for our town of Blackpool. Lord, we pray that we may be so faithful to Christ that by our witness many turn to him and declare that he is their Lord and Saviour. We pray for all Christian leaders throughout our country, throughout our region of Lancashire and particularly in Blackpool, that they may show by their works and witness the unity of the Spirit and the power of God to transform lives. Lord, we pray for our own church. I pray for our Vicar Dave, for Alison and for Josh, and we pray a protection over their home and a power in their ministries. Lord, we pray for our curate LJ, for an, our associate minister David, and for all the members of the parochial church council, that you will give them wisdom and your authority, Lord, as they lead your church forward here. Father, we pray for our bishops, for Philip and Jill, praying that you will guide them by your Holy Spirit, give them vision, give them courage as they lead your people through difficult times, times of debate within the General Synod, times of debate within the Diocesan Synod, and give them your joy, particularly at this Christmas time, 
when it is so busy. Lord, may they have a, a fresh glimpse of you this year. And Lord, we pray for our family and friends. We pray for protection and for joy for those that we know and love. And for those who do not yet know Christ, we pray that they see in us his reflection and his power. Lord, may people ask us questions about our faith, knowing, Lord, that you will give us by the Holy Spirit the right words to say. And we pray for all those we know who are ill at this time, for all those who are close to death, and for all those who need God's healing touch. In a moment of quiet, name before God those known to you personally. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray. Visit this place, O oh Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we gather all our prayers together in the words that Jesus himself taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And so as we prepare to rest tonight in peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone lord make us dwell in safety abide with us lord jesus for the night is at hand and the day is now past as the night watch looks for the morning so do we look for you O christ and for those who know our usual blessing at the end of night prayer from Numbers chapter 6. Please say these words with me as we bless each other. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. Amen.